What is up guys, we are back and today we got something special. We are headed to Side by Side Vlogs shop because Lucy's got some uh, upgrades coming. Big old box. Big and box. Big box. <laughs> oh, look at the Sorry. smile. <laughs> I'm so happy. Are you excited? Yeah, I've been you waiting. You yourself? Yeah, maybe, it's been a long drive. I've been waiting for this thing for three months. Yeah, so too long. Too long. Hey, look, Razor Malone. <gasps> Razor Malone. Could have bought your rig and put it on the dyno. Yeah, that would have actually been kind of interesting. <laughs> that would have been interesting. Oh, a moment of truth, though. Moment of uh, truth. Where's our box? Yeah. Give me the box. Give me the, what's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> it's warm out. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Look at the uh, weather. <laughs> hey, look, there's Whistle and Diesel's rig. Knock, knock. Room service. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, man? You guys have seen some behind the scenes uh, burn right stuff right here. Oh, yeah? Behind the scenes? Bank vault. Yeah. Well, no kidding, dude. Yeah, that's Holy that's crap. Yeah. <laughs> Big baller. Big baller. It's in here, though, brother. Oh, whoa. She's peeling right open. Who said you could open our house? Whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa. Oh, no. e easy, Ooh, Bob. He's pissed off in there, dude. <laughs> I think he's pissed. You guys doing another double burnout here, or what? Double Bernie, baby. It's about to happen. Mm, double Very burnout. crazy. Better than last time? What's up? What's up, Steve? Stone Cold hey, Steve Austin, dude? You I like saw that? your moves. Yeah. Don't hurt me. Like in between. <laughs> yeah, dude, you want to go for a match? I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll peek in there. Oh. Whoa, there you go. She looks beautiful. <laughs> I didn't tell Nick about the color change either. Oh, you didn't? No, it's gonna Ow. be a surprise for me. How him. didn't he tell? I know him? I can't keep secrets at all. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> we showed up just in time. I like the little custom squirters, dude. dude. Squirters are no joke. Constantly peeing. <laughs> no joke. Be careful, don't get that on your shoes, they're bleached. Oh, oh, sweet. <laughs> this thing in person is just a different degree of damage <laughs> if you guys don't know what this is this is the whistle and diesels razor he was trying to do like a I don't even know what you, you call it some ports? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the throttle <laughs> for the backflip on the swing he was trying to do Wow uh, torched seen torched. better days yeah. nice. cool. $150 meals no no they're the cheapos <laughs> Have bird nests down here? Oh, yeah. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Strap her in. Safety first. Yep. <laughs> She's all loaded up with the worst strap job in the world. I'm just trying to keep this box in contact <laughs> for the good reveal. All right, back to the dirt compound. <laughs> I wish I brought my enclosed trailer. This is a, <laughs> that's bad. What's happening to the box? Oh no! <laughs> Oh, yeah, bit of fixing. box don't look so good. No, <laughs> it does not. Yeah, this could have been done better. <laughs> I'm thinking about just running it in. Yeah, it's tight. These are doing nothing. <laughs> These are doing absolutely nothing. Nothing is working. <laughs> I 
<laughs> and it's already dirty. <laughs> I'm pissed. <laughs> all right, we're all we're almost home. Dude, mother trucker. <laughs> all right, to be Don't continued. Move. Yeah, to, <laughs> to be continued. Better day, boys. And guess what? The Razor Turbo S is getting a little gift today. Shablam! We got a Brick City Fab cage, glass windshield, spare tire carrier, rough country light bar, the whole shebang. It is a big old package. You guys have probably seen it in the background. Reason we haven't put it on. All right, not shaming the company but they forgot to send the roof uh bleh, bleh. it's i don't know the quality of the build seems awesome i haven't even unpackaged it all yet but the roof was not with the cage and so i literally have been waiting like another three weeks or something for the rest of my stuff to come in the spare tire carrier blah 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 i'm also going to go over a couple tips that you should know about when buying an aftermarket cage because these are things I didn't know and nobody notified me and I wish I knew. Especially because it's super hard to get stuff with the whole dilemma of what's going on right now in the world. Alright, so tip number one. Not all cages come with these tabs right here for your seat belts. So when my cage came in, I was like, screw the roof, I don't need it. I'll just throw it on. Well, I had nowhere to mount my seat belts. So, also... With the cage, I'm going to be putting on some PRP uh, harnesses. I went with the auto style because I really like that. I actually love the Sub Zeros that are in the Razor Turbo S, but I can't use them. So, I'm going to go with the PRPs. They had them in stock. That was kind of the whole thing. It was like everywhere it was three to four weeks out. I didn't have to wait three to four more weeks to put on my cage. I'm already on week 14 or 15 since I ordered it. It was January 18th. So, I mean, crazy long wait, crazy long. I'm tired of waiting. It is time to put on this cage. So, overall, it seems really simple. I got Alex with me here today. No Nick. Here, yeah. I'll just Photoshop Nick's yeah. face onto you. Do a deep fake. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems really simple. I, uh, I have never done a cage before. One of the things that somebody told me though is to jack up the center a little bit to relieve the pressure of the cage. Because if you've ever taken these A pillars off before, these things like boing and they'll go all crazy and they're hard to get back on. So we're gonna try that method, jack up the center, go from there. Also rip out these seat belts. Cause gotta put in the PRPs. I mean, relatively simple job, I yeah. think. We'll see how it all goes. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We always say it's gonna be easy. It never is. Also, the powder coat on this cage, I went with uh, flat crystal gray, I believe is what the color was. I almost said crystal meth, dude. I, that's what my brain went to. <laughs> I'm gonna call it crystal meth. It's the color of crystal meth. <laughs> uh, it looks sharp. It is, so what it is, is supposed to match the rear of this Turbo S. The front is black, and this is a flat crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I did have black originally, but then changed at the last second. The spare tire carrier actually matches this same color too. So she's gonna look super sharp. And the windshield is black with uh, air vents that are the same color as this. I haven't even ripped into it, so I really have no idea what it looks like. Yeah, it's like Christmas. Hey! <laughs> Christmas in May. A Christmas gift that I knew I was getting for 15 weeks. <laughs> yeah, ordered it on Christmas. <laughs> and they forgot part of my gift, and so I had to wait longer. Yeah, you've been a bad boy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Step one to get these seat belts out is you got to remove this center console piece so you can get access to, uh, down here to unbolt it. And these pliers right here are your best friend. They're in your glove box and your little kit that comes with every razor. And the tips are special for these guys right there. It is super dark, you can't see it. For these guys right here, bam. These things just pull them right up. They're the bomb. All right, once you pop this thing right up here, you got your hardware hidden underneath here. So unbolt that, wham, bam, stuff right out. Alex already got this one unhooked. Then you obviously you got the back one you gotta do too. Zip zip. 
No, you don't need seat belts in your razor. <laughs> like that, the Sub-Zero razor harnesses are out of there. We're gonna start tackling the uh, mounting points of the cage. So right here, to get to this, make sure you capture the nuts on the other side. Just remove this little piece of plastic with a T25, it's super simple. Wham, just like that, and you got access. All right, so we're gonna do these ones first. It is attached your door, it is the hinge part. So I think when we zip it off with the doors closed, it'll stay in, stay in place. Science? Science. <laughs> you got them out, but upon, upon further analysis, this bracket goes on each side, so when we slip this cage out, we're gonna have to slip her right back in. Might have to take this off, we'll see. Next, we're attacking this guy. Load me. So right there, you can see that it raised up. It didn't peel up as much as I thought it would, though. To be no, I wonder if it's because of that. Did you show that? I be, oh, no, I didn't. So how we talked about earlier in the video, we're jacking this up. So we got one on this side and one on this side, just trying to make it pretty even. I mean, we just jacked it up maybe, I don't know, a foot or something like that. Couple pumps. Couple pumps, pump, pump, jack it up. All right, since we got this one move, removed, and now we got this pillar that comes down, it's actually underneath here, and you can't see it at all. And right there's a bolt. Single little dude underneath there, pretty easy. Once you get this, uh, this cage is removed, I believe this is the new hardware for that mounting spot. It's gonna just mount right up in there and uh, clamp onto your cage. Zip the bolt off underneath here, and this is actually a whole separate piece. It has a little gasket on it and everything. Didn't realize that. It's pretty crazy. Hey, there's the tension I'm talking about. This one has way more of a gap on it when I pull it off compared to this side, so maybe we need to jack this side up a little bit more. We can see if it changes. Yeah, let's test it out. A little science experiment here, dude. Pump it up, pump it up, pump. No, it's not changing it. Uh, no, it does not seem to be changing it. All right, so all the hardware is uh, off of the rear end of the cage. Now up to the A pillar. I have the mirrors attached to here, so we gotta be a little careful. Um, make sure that I put all my hardware back because this is shimmed out with uh, washers. So just remember how you got it. Not that much tension on it, actually. She didn't move a crazy okay. amount. Not really. All right, so cage is ready to be taken off. It is the moment of truth. All the hardware is off. I think it's gonna pop right off. I really hope so. <laughs> All right. Okay, the way under. Lord, we need your help. Place. <laughs> Holy crap. She's a convertible, boys. Oh man, that thing is heavier than you would think. I recommend having three people if you don't want to scratch up your car. Because she didn't move the easiest. Thank God Lauren was in here. Muscles! All right, easy, don't pass out. Did there get any damage on here? I know it dropped down a couple of times. I think it might have rubbed right there. Ooh yeah, there's a scratch! She's gotta get a new nice. one, dude. Take it back. Take it back. I think we should drive it like this. Yeah. I would be all for it, but. I bet you the structural yeah. integrity of it's it would be, be like weird. All right, the next step is just unpackaging this whole mess right here. We got a whole contraption going on. All right, all right with a little bit of finessing, we got the cage sitting on there. This intrusion bar we had to take out because it was just creating too much tension. You can see the bung ends on here. Like there's a little gap on this one, but this guy over here, man, it's spready life. All right, pause real quick. So how I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I needed to drill the holes into the roof because it wasn't with the cage when I got it. I got a little bit frustrated. Things were not going very smooth. We'll cut to some clips of that. I shouldn't be doing this right now. Wait, there's more. Wow. About to bust the vein, y'all. 
You did. You busted a vein. Why Bane's coming back, man? So I was able to get the roof on and uh, the windshield actually mounts up with the roof, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I talked to Brick City Fab because this thing was just complicated. I didn't do the roof properly. It should have been done anyways. And so it just didn't match up right. If I wanted to ever take my roof off or my windshield, it was going to be a real pain. It was a bear to get on. So they're going to make it right. We're going to get this whole situation fixed up. But here... It happened, so we're going to be jumping into the future again here to where I just wrap up everything and go over the whole build and show you guys. I'm going to do a little rundown real quick, though, just because I'm not sure everything that got used from the last video. So the windshield, very self-explanatory. They have these, like, zerts right here at the tip of my finger. Oh, you can't see it because it doesn't want to focus, but it is already... Uh, mounted to the cage where you can just thread these things in like if this roof just came with and already had the drill holes drilled it would have been super easy and really really quick that is the only one reason it was really a pain uh so windshield super self-explanatory and another sweet feature was a 40 inch uh rough country light bar i got with it you can see where they actually notch the roof for you so the wire can go in there awesome thank you brick city fab that's cool all right so we haven't put the spare tire carry on uh i don't even know if that's going to get done in this video i'm just trying to wrap this stuff up all right for these mounts down here uh you have to use these clamps you might you definitely need a friend maybe even two to adjust this properly so you can mount it just right not the easiest thing in the world but you can get it done you just need a little help like from lauren yeah muscle girl <laughs> another cool feature so I am going to get a chase bar, and they have what I was talking about, how you can just whoop, thread it right through the cage, blah, 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 mounts easy peasy. Don't have to use cage clamps. That's a cool feature about all that. You can uh, have those things ordered with your cage. So uh, these are some tips to go over when you are ordering a cage. You want, you want the uh, light bar mount. You want the chase light mount because it's a super easy and it makes your cage super unique. All right, onto the seat belts, the PRPs. I was like upset that I had to get different seat belts, but in the long run, these aren't bad. They're actually pretty comfortable. Uh, the one thing I don't like is how there's no mounts for you to put these two, so these slide around. I'm not too bothered by it, but Lauren was having some, yeah, she was having some issues. I'm angry. She's angry. <laughs> Auto style latch, I love it. This one's actually a little bit nicer than Sub-Zero's, the way they spaced out this. Uh, good product, like it. Here's another cool feature that's part of the cage. If you get a rear view mirror, you can just thread it right into here. No cage clamps. So Nick is on the way, and he has not seen the cage on there yet. And we're going to get his reaction here. We'll be hiding in the garage. <laughs> Waiting for uh, his smiles and laughs. <laughs>, uh, <laughs> me and Lauren did go on a little cruise though with the windshield. Woo! It is a night and day the difference. The windshield is a blessing. Windshield, definitely a bonus. Also, I have a wiper gonna come with it. That's another thing they didn't do. They didn't mount, they didn't drill the holes for the windshield wiper mount. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous because of how bad the roof scenario went i don't know should be able to get the job done but i said that about the roof all right nick just showed up so good to see his reaction hello hello what's going on right now? <laughs> dude that looks awesome wow. yeah Dude, that's a whole different Bama Jamma right there. <laughs> it's a different rig, that's, that's for a sure. It looks different rig. That looks sweet. That looks so cool. The tube design in the back here is sexy. Yeah, that's man. yeah, that it's killer. Slick. That is super killer, dude. Especially when the spare tire goes in there and it matches uh, the cage color. Dude, it just looks so different right here on the side view. Oh yeah. The way that it's just chopped and comes down and I lowered. Love, I love the low profile. Oh, the low profile looks sweet, dude. Nice, bro. Yeah. Nice. We sit in it, dude. It's a whole different like Whoa. feeling. Oh, dude, it is a Whoa! Dude, it is a way different feeling in here. Yeah, you like wow. it. Wow! <laughs> dude, it, like, 
It just feels complete. <laughs> <laughs> not like, quite. Not quite. Not, quite There's actually, not even close, to be honest. There's still a lot more stuff to go on this thing. But, like, with the cage and everything, man, it just feels like it is enclosed, man, dude. Man, your feels... head is close. Like, if you had a helmet on, man, it would be close. Yeah, I know, right? <sighs> bing, 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 bing. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Like, right. the other cage was so big and tall. It was. Like, I don't this know. This one just feels... I don't know. Yeah. It feels almost like a like fighter pilot. Like, a, <laughs> like it just feels like I don't know, dude. It's badass. It badass. just feels badass. It feels badass. <laughs> it looks super badass. I was curious on how this windshield is gonna go too. I, I like it. There's not too much like edge of it. Like I hate right. it when you see a huge edge yeah, piece. Yeah, that, that's what I was like concerned about when I saw it, when you first sent me the picture. But it's I don't think it's a problem at all, man. No. It's, it's, it's perfect, dude. It's very sick. This is awesome. Dude, the look is so sweet. So we're just changing some fluids because the Turbo S is ready for its first uh, oil change and front diff transmission, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're going to throw some mud flaps on them. Same one as uh, the old Razor Turbo S, the Rock Blocks. Uh, the last ones worked great. Uh, so I can see these ones are a little bit different than the other ones. They actually split it all the way down. Uh, so they won't break on you because my last one's dead. Super simple to put on and yeah, definitely gonna make a difference with protecting your trailing arm and everything and even your shocks. And they look cool. They do look cool. Easy to put in too. Yeah. After you figure out where uh, what bolt goes to what hole. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Read the instructions. Yeah, and do it. But <laughs> yeah, got a couple other things done. Oh yeah. The uh, quiet cord makes it half as quiet. Yeah, does it make it half as quiet? Does it? <laughs> Because uh, when I took it for a ride, the windshield like blocks all that noise. So all I heard was the exhaust. It was too much. It was too much. Yeah, I haven't got to go for a ride in it yet with the new cage, but I can definitely see what he's talking about. I think it might. I don't think it's half as quiet, but it's probably about a quarter or a third. It definitely is quiet. There's no doubt about it. Definitely going to run that from now on. Quiet cord. Yeah. I'm making me want to put it in. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. That is, that is actually noticeably quiet. Yeah. I'll see you once I go down the road and stuff. Right. Woo, she looks sick, son. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, how about you give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, we uh, upload multiple videos a week. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell if you want to get notified every time we upload. We appreciate everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>